So uh, last week, I mean, best week of the year? Best week in a while? <laughs> Definitely in a while. I mean, yeah. anytime you get a win, it makes everything a lot better. Uh, guys played hard, you know, and like I said, you want to get those guys rewarded for that effort. Uh, D-line really, really did a good job with some change-ups that we had uh, out of a four down. Got a lot of pressure, got our hands on a couple balls, scored on defense. So, uh, you know, it, it was it was a good day for us. How about Marcel? He bounced back. He seemed like he was in a groove. Then he said he had the targeting penalty, and it kind of knocked him back a little yeah, bit. And now yeah. he's back in. Well, again, he's playing at a, at a different speed and, and, and confidence, too. You know, confidence, like I'd say, it, it breeds a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, excitement and guys able to cut loose and, and go play. He's kind of been one of those guys now that compliments Charles as far as getting a little pressure off the edge and and uh, you know it was good to, to, to have those guys all in there. Nate got in and caused a lot of disruption, took on some double teams to free some of those guys up. So really, really was proud of the front four and the effort that they gave and, and defensively as well. But but that front four really changed the game for us. I, I know that they've used some of the three and four defensive ends package here in previous years, but hey, what did you guys like about that this week and, and kind of how'd that come about? Uh, well, we knew if we could, you know, if we could really get them in third and long situations and we really wanted to get our, our best, you know, uh, our, our fastest guys, I would say that not our best, but more of our fastest guys in a situation to, to really pin their ears back and go. We felt we could take advantage of their offensive line a little bit. And uh, something that we worked on actually came out uh, mm -hmm. and worked for us. So we, we were excited okay. as a staff to, to see that work. And Charles said they ran on it once, but I mean, that's got to be mostly a, a just when you're pretty confident they're throwing back, yes. right? And, and it was, it was. We knew once we got up two scores and, and the game was in the fourth quarter, we felt a little bit more comfortable going to that, that situation. And uh, and really our kids dictated it more than we did because, of what, because they're able to get the pressure out of just a four down, we had a lot of blitzes that we wanted to call up and we didn't even have to go to. So uh, when your front four is playing like that, uh, you can do a lot of things. It gets pretty easy to play defense when you don't have to blitz, doesn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> and it's a lot, a lot uh, not as risky either, I would yeah. say that. And so you can do some multiple things in coverage. And, and our DBs, again, made a few plays uh, toward the end of the game. Didn't make some early, but we made enough at the end of the game to get off the field. Can you expect to do that, though, against a mobile quarterback like like Dobbs? Well, he changed the game. I, I think if you get in a certain down and distance, uh, you know, you, 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 you got to be able to still have the guts to make some of those calls. But anytime you play a quarterback like that, uh, you got to put together a package that, that holds him accountable. He's the extra blocker uh, that you can't account for. You know, he kind of creates his own blocks, and he's hard to get down one-on-one -on -one situation. So. What's impressed you about Kale this year? And then I guess on, on the other side of that, what's it going to take for him to take the, the next step now? Uh, I, honestly, at this point, I think Kale's got to, you know, finish with, with some, some confidence in some of the things we're doing now. You know, his confidence was rolling a little bit there. And then we made the, the shift a little bit mid-season. And it was like starting all over again for him, to be honest. And, and so his confidence not necessarily where it was at. Uh, but I think once we're able to get him in another offseason and hopefully, you know, get some, you know, be able to make some plays. The South Carolina game hurt him a lot, uh, only being in there one snap. That really hurt him because really last week was like his second game all over again. So we're, we're counting on him to get in and make a few plays and, and uh, be put in a situation where he can go make some calls, checks, and, and really make some, some, some big time plays that I think he's capable of making. But we got two games to try to get him. Uh, a full season of experience, and then we'll take it to the off season to try to build on that. Could he play the the will down the road, or is he kind of a, a middle linebacker for for the foreseeable future? Do you think? Well, I tell all the guys, if if you want to get on the field, you better be multiple, and you better know more than just one position. If you only know one position, uh, you better be, be be the best at that position. And so, if he wants to get on the field, uh, he's either gonna have to beat somebody out and, and really really take ownership in that spot, or he's gonna have to learn to play multiple spots and and be ready to get in there. Uh, you know, I think Mike is his best position. Will will probably be a stretch, but I think he's competitive enough to, to give himself an opportunity. We'll just have to evaluate that in the offseason.